It begins in a space no larger than a grain of sand, deep inside the fallopian tube, where light never reaches and time seems to slow. Here, in a narrow corridor of fluid and cilia, the first 24 hours of life unfold with breathtaking precision. No heart, no brain, no form. And yet, the decisions made in this single day will determine everything that follows. How does one sperm, out of hundreds of millions, find an egg that cannot move? How does a cell protect itself from billions of possible genetic errors in mere minutes? And how does the moment of fusion, silent, microscopic, unseen, spark the beginning of an entirely new human story? Fertilization is often described as an event, but the truth is far more mesmerizing. It is a sequence of biological miracles, each dependent on the last, each timed with impossible accuracy. Before the clock even starts, sperm have been travelling for hours, navigating mucus gates, chemical gradients and immune defences. The egg, waiting in the ampulla of the fallopian tube, completes its final steps of maturation only after sperm have already arrived and when they meet, everything changes. This is the story of the first day of life, where identities are written, where chromosomes pair for the first time, where a single cell divides, and where the future begins its quiet march. Invisible, precise, beautiful. Let's go inside. The first 24 hours of life begin long before the moment of fusion. When ovulation occurs, the egg is swept into the fallopian tube by finger-like projections called fimbriae. It settles in the ampulla, the widest part of the tube, surrounded by nutrient-rich fluid. The egg at this stage is large, one of the biggest cells in the human body, and still paused in the final steps of meiosis. Meanwhile, sperm released hours earlier face a nearly impossible journey. From the billions that start, only a few thousand will reach the uterus. Only a few hundred will ever enter the fallopian tube. And only a handful will approach the egg. To get this far, sperm undergo capacitation a biochemical transformation that removes proteins from their surface, increases membrane fluidity, and switches their tail movement into a rapid whip-like pattern. Without capacitation, sperm are incapable of fertilization. The fallopian tube provides the perfect environment. Gentle currents created by cilia guide sperm toward the egg. Chemical signals released by cells surrounding the egg create a gradient that draws sperm closer, an invisible lighthouse in microscopic darkness. The egg itself is encased in two protective layers, the corona radiata, a halo of supportive cells, the zona pellucida, a thick glycoprotein shell. To enter, sperm must bind to a receptor on the zona pellucida and release enzymes from the acrosome, a cap-like structure on the sperm head. It is here, at the threshold of the egg, that the race ends and a new story begins. But this is only the beginning. The moment a sperm reaches the zona pellucida, the events of fertilization accelerate. 1. The acrosome reaction. Binding to the zona triggers the sperm to release digestive enzymes, hyaluronidase and acrosin, which dissolve a microscopic tunnel through the shell. This is not an attack, but an invitation. Only sperm that bind correctly can activate this reaction. As it bores through, the sperm's tail powers forward with hyperactivated motion, driving it deeper toward the egg's membrane. 2. Membrane fusion. When the sperm reaches the egg's surface, their membranes fuse. 
The sperm's nucleus and midpiece slip inside. The tail remains behind. Fusion triggers an electrical change across the egg membrane, a fast block to polyspermy, preventing other sperm from entering. Within seconds, a second permanent block occurs. The egg releases enzymes that harden the zona pellucida, sealing itself shut. No more sperm can enter. 3. Completion of meiosis Only now does the egg complete its final meiotic division, forming the female pronucleus. Until this moment, it has been paused since before birth. 4. Pronuclear dance the sperm nucleus swells, becoming the male pronucleus. Microtubules guide both pronuclei toward each other. They approach slowly, like two planets drawn by gravity, each carrying 23 chromosomes. They do not immediately fuse. Instead, they position themselves side by side. Their membranes dissolve. Chromosomes align on a shared spindle. At this instant, the genome of a new human is assembled for the first time. 5. The first division. Roughly 24 hours after sperm entry, the zygote undergoes its first mitotic division. The single cell becomes two, perfectly matched, genetically identical, and ready to begin the next stage. This is the silent dawn of life. But the most breathtaking moment still lies ahead, when the cells begin their journey down the fallopian tube, dividing again and again, carrying the blueprint of generations. The climax of the first 24 hours is the astonishing moment when individuality is formed, a moment when two genetic histories merge into one. As the male and female pronuclei prepare to combine, the zygote enters a phase of dramatic reorganization. Chromatin unfolds. DNA repair enzymes scan for mismatches. Telomeres stabilize. Dozens of cellular checkpoints ensure that the new genome is both complete and viable. Then, as the spindle forms between the two sets of chromosomes, something extraordinary happens. The parental DNA aligns, mixes and divides. At this moment, every gene that will shape this future human – eye colour, metabolism, bone structure, even predispositions – begins its lifelong story. The zygote does not rest. Almost immediately after its first division, it prepares for another. The cytoskeleton shifts. Mitochondria, each inherited from the mother, position themselves strategically. The zona pellucida keeps the embryo compact and protected as it starts its trek toward the uterus. Each cell formed in these hours carries the same genetic instructions, but the potential to become anything muscle, neuron, skin, placenta. This state of total flexibility is called totipotency. It exists for only a brief window in human development. These first two cells, then four, then eight, divide without growing larger. Instead, they subdivide the original volume of the zygote, forming a tightly packed structure that will soon become a morula. This cascade began with a single fusion, and now, 24 hours later, life has doubled, twice over. This is the climax of fertilization, the moment biology shifts from possibility to reality. The first 24 hours of life unfold in complete darkness, no sound, no awareness, no witness. And yet, these hours contain some of the most extraordinary choreography in biology. Two cells, one from each parent, find each other across impossible odds. 
they merge, reorganize, correct themselves, and then begin dividing with exquisite precision. This is the beginning not just of a body, but of a blueprint, a unique genetic signature that has never existed before and will never exist again. What takes place in this microscopic dawn will shape every cell that follows, every organ, every feature, every possibility. It is a reminder that life begins not with a heartbeat or consciousness, but with a conversation between chromosomes, molecules and chemical signals passed down through generations. And within this conversation lies a profound truth. Growth begins with connection. Complexity begins with cooperation. Life begins with two becoming one. The first 24 hours of fertilization reveal a universe contained within a single cell. A universe built from precision, resilience and quiet brilliance. From that point forward, every moment of development is an expansion of this first spark. And within that spark, the story of a future unfolds.